the sidecar, one of my favorite classic cocktail recipes. I'm not only gonna show you how to make a sidecar, but give you a couple of variations on the classic cocktail as well. Stay tuned. What's up guys, Sam James, barprints.co, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a sidecar cocktail. Now, if you're new to the channel and you're looking for the best in all things bartending and cocktail advice, go ahead and click the subscribe button down here, and don't forget to click the notification bell to make sure you never miss a new video when it comes out. Now, knowing how to make a sidecar drink may be an easy cocktail for you to remember if you're familiar with the standard sour cocktail recipe that you may have seen me cover on this channel before. And because it's a citrus cocktail that only has three ingredients, it makes for easy cocktails to make at home. Now, when it comes to the sidecar, the classic cocktail recipe goes as follows. It calls for two ounces of cognac, one ounce of dry curacao, and one ounce of fresh lemon juice. But for our sidecar, we're gonna go ahead and use two ounces of cognac and one ounce of Grand Marnier liqueur as a substitute for the dry curacao. Now, this is a great substitution for dry curacao since Dry Curacao is a orange flavored liqueur with um, brandy as the spirit base and Grand Marnier is a orange flavored cognac liqueur. Now I'd love to know what some of your favorite cognac cocktails are. Maybe there's something that you'd like to see covered on this channel. Go ahead and drop it in the comments below and I'll do my best to get to it in the days and weeks ahead. Finally, you're gonna go ahead and add your one ounce of fresh lemon juice. Go ahead and give it a good shake with some ice and double strain that into your cocktail glass. No need for a garnish, just go ahead and serve it straight up as is, ready to go for your guests. Now for other variations, say for example, a bourbon sidecar, you would of course substitute the bourbon for the cognac, same measurements as you've seen before, incorporate it into the rest of the cocktail, same methodology. And lastly, one more great substitute for the dry curacao or the Grand Marnier orange liqueur is to use either Cointreau or triple sec. Now, I personally love to use Cointreau versus triple sec in many of the citrus cocktails that call for triple sec, really just because I love the quality of the cocktail that it produces. Now you may be saying to yourself, self, what's the real difference between Cointreau and triple sec? Well, there's a couple differences, but you know, slight, albeit. Now, first of all, when it comes to triple sec, it is an orange flavored liqueur. It's flavored by the skins of um, various oranges, but Cointreau is, well, it's also an orange flavored liqueur, but it's a proprietary liqueur flavored with its own special blend of sweet and bitter orange skins. The also big difference between the two of them is when it comes to triple sec, it comes in a varying range of ABV, alcohol by volume. It can go anywhere from between 15% to 30% ABV, whereas Cointreau is 40% ABV. So it's another additional factor you may want to think about when you're crafting your own cocktails, if you want to give them a little extra kick. Those are really basically the major differences between the two of them. And those are my sidecar variations. Great for making easy cocktails at home or if you need easy cocktail recipes for a party. If you're looking for products to help you upgrade your bar skills and take them to the next level, go ahead and head over to barprints.co and check out what we have over there. Also, if you haven't already, go ahead and download our free PDF, the Barprints Cheat Sheet, help you go from a novice to a pro in just under 24 hours. Finally, if you found this video helpful, and I hope you have, go ahead and give it a like and share it with your friends. And for some more great bartending advice, go ahead and check out these videos right here. Thanks a lot for joining me. Cheers, and I'll see you in the next one.